Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to update the data. So before getting into the video, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe. Hit on the bell icon so whenever I upload a new video, you will be getting a notification on it. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. So let's get into the video. So in previous video, we have finished till edit fetching of that data into form. So here if you go reload, you can see here we have fetched. But like I told in previous video, the actual thing is that we want the phone number here and the email here. So when I click on update data, it has to get updated. So we are going to perform this part in this video. So let's get started with that. So once after fetching the data into the form, here we have given the name right, which is update button. Copy this button name. So this button will go to code.php with a post method. So go to code.php. Here you have the insert code below. Right if if is set of dollar post of that button name. So when that button is clicked, let's echo updated okay i'm just echoing here let us go reload and check reload when i click on update data okay here it is read g.c this is because we have given their email and all so i'll just explain all this thing later so here we are getting the code which is updated right so let's remove this what we need to update is all these three things. So let's copy this from here itself instead of typing it again and again. Paste it here and start writing the code for updation. So here let's create a variable. Tell this as update query is equal to. So update table name, right? So what is a table name? Admin panel. Copy this admin panel. Paste it here, set set name is equal to pass this dollar name, give a comma and tell phone is equal to pass this phone variable, give a comma and tell email is equal to dollar email okay and here also we will have the where condition where id is equal to dollar id so here also we have no id so this id variable it will give an error if there is no variable right so let's copy this and paste it here and tell dollar post of id i'll tell you from where we are getting this id for now just remember that we require an id from where did we get the name phone and email it's from the input form right similarly we are getting the id also from the input form so in edit.php we have already fetched the name phone email so for id just give a margin bottom 3 and I'm just gonna copy paste this input tag which is name. It's given text but here I'll just give this to id and change the name to id. This here this id is not required actually. Go back reload. So here I'm getting that user's id. So this will not be shown actually just for the purpose of understanding, I'm just showing it. This will be hidden. This will not be shown. We'll make that hidden later. Now the actual thing, I think you would have got the ID is coming from this name attribute. We are taking the ID into code.php here. So that's it. And give the run query, which is update query. Run is equal to using MySQLi query. Connect your database, which is connection, and pass this update query, 
variable okay so once this is done we should know whether that data is updated or not for that what we have to do is using an if condition just check if that data is updated or not so copy paste if data is updated so we'll copy it from the insert thing itself we are using session and paste it here and change this to data updated successfully and here copy once again in else part updation failed this will have an error error code so let's go to includes footer this message will be displayed in alerty file so that's it now let's go test our code and see if this is getting updated accordingly let's go reload and click on user 7 so i wanted the mail here right let me copy this paste it here and cut this email paste it here click on update so here you can see you are getting data updated successfully and you can see in the place of email we have got email in the place of phone number we have got phone number let's update the user number 5 as well let's click on edit cut this paste it here cut this email paste it here and click on update data again you got data updated successfully it about the updation part and this thing we have to iterate so let's go do that here inside edit.php just make this to hidden so that id should not be shown actually that thing and all we are internally using without showing to the user okay so that is why we make it hidden and here in place of a phone number we have given text make that to number itself now reload so the id got hidden and the data is getting updated successfully i hope this video was helpful and if you have any doubt or suggestion let me know in the comment section like share and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching see you guys in the next video